One of the stumbling blocks to building a strong volunteer audio team is that of training. When are they going to practice and get really good at mixing and doing transitions? Enter the virtual sound check. Hey, it's Richard with Presonus, and my buddy Jeff Sandstrom is going to show you how the Studio Live Series 3 uses an onboard SD card slot for multi-track recording and playback. So basically we have an SD card slot here under our live recording menu. So if you have a card inserted, just hit edit. And basically it's a super simple way to capture and playback multi-channel audio. So we could just say new session and my artist is my church. Performance is Sunday. Let's even call it Sunday um, 7 11. So let's pretend we're recording uh, a regular Sunday in July. And then our location is our main auditorium. Okay. So now we create, and now it's formatting the card to be able to record that session. So now the next thing that comes up is a menu that shows you the duration of your recording, how much time you have left, uh, the current time, uh, and where you are in the timeline as it goes through. But first, we have to arm our tracks. We have to tell it which tracks, which channels in our console to record. So an easy way to do that is to just say all. And so all of our tracks are now armed, and it's ready to go. So if we hit select, it'll show us that everything is glowing red, so everything is ready to record. So that includes all 32 channels of our console plus the main left-right bus. And so let's say you don't want to record everything, but you only want to record the left-right. In other words, you just want a recording of the two bus coming out of your console as a way to maybe check your board mix, as a way to check what's being sent to the web or your broadcast feed for uh, another room in the church. So you can record just the main left, right to get a good picture of what your mix in the console sounds like. But for our purposes, we are going to record everything because we want to capture all of our tracks for virtual sound check. The pickoff point for these recordings are right after the gain knob. So basically your preamp is what's being recorded so that when you play it back, any of the channel processing that you have in place didn't get captured that way. It got captured raw, and then you're able to play it back through the channel processing so that it sounds the same, whether the band is live or whether it's virtual playback or virtual sound check. Basically, all you do is press the record button, and then the record play starts. So you can see the current time starts jogging through. Now, I have this record lock button on, which ensures that if I come in here and hit the transport, it's not going to stop recording because it's locked. So there's no fear of sort of fat fingering those transport controls and messing up your recording. So then all you do is your band starts playing, or in our case, we're getting our inputs from the USB computer. So I'll just push play, and you can see on my inputs, we're starting to get signal. So the channels that are playing from the computer are now being recorded into the console. So let's say we're recording our first song. We've got you know, a good sample from the band of what they're gonna do. So we can hit our record lock button to unlock the transport and then press stop and our recording is finished. So now if we want to listen back to what we recorded, it's super simple. You'll see right now our input is USB. That means the console is listening to what we're sending it from the USB inputs, which in this case is Capture, Personas's recording software that we're playing back from a computer. But if we say this button, all channels to SD input, what that means is it takes everything and starts to listen instead to the card. So you'll see even on the input section of the fat channel control, our input went from USB to SD card. So again, listening to USB, all channels to SD input, and it goes to the card. So we know that what's being listened to now is from the card, okay? So let's take our jog wheel and we'll scroll back a little bit to where we recorded. And then all we need to do is push play and we should see our inputs coming up. Using virtual sound check with a computer or SD card 
in a Studio Live Series 3 gives you and your team the ability to become better and better at what you do. It's just another way we at PreSonus give you the tools you need to create great productions and presentations. Thanks to the folks at MXU for the great video series, and thanks to you for watching today.